Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. Students in Chicago and nationwide are walking out of school one month after the massacre in Parkland, Florida. Some school districts say students could be punished for leaving class. Our Lauren Victory has that part of the story. That's right, Marissa. Detention or in-school suspension could be levied here at Hinsdale Central. But despite those threats from administrators and, might I add, wind chills in the 20s, students walked out anyways. Teachers estimate about 400 kids came out of the gym doors for a solemn 17-minute demonstration. That's about 15% of Hinsdale Central. They read off the names of the Parkland shooting victims and marched to the front of the school chanting things like enough. It was a peaceful protest, which should help when all of these students are punished as promised for leaving class. I'm actually very happy and surprised with the turnout. I was a little concerned that with the school's um, possible threat to punish students that a lot of students would be um, feel like they shouldn't come out. But I just thought that it was just too important to miss this opportunity to walk out and show my voice and show that adults in Congress that we trust like aren't standing up for us and we need to do something for ourselves. The principals at Hinsdale Central and South send out a letter that said they're happy that students are participating in the political process, but they don't believe that at school and during school is the proper time and place. These students, by the way, are planning another walkout next month on the anniversary of the Columbine shootings. I'm Laura Victor reporting live in Hinsdale, CBS 2 News. And here is how students at a middle school in Northwest Indiana are marking the day. A lot of energy and enthusiasm expressed out here. Now, this walkout has both local and national significance to several of the students who walked out of the building right behind me. No more silence and gun violence. No more silence and gun violence. About an hour ago, hundreds of students at Gavitt Middle High School left the classrooms to chant and call for law and or policy changes to gun legislation. The principal here adding several, no two of their peers died this past summer from gun violence. So the national movement has local impact. Students from grades 6 to 12, those 11 to 18 year old, years old taking part. Administrators welcoming the 17 minutes out of class, not as a distraction, but as a learning experience, the principal particularly reassured this morning when she saw a flyer pass around school with a schedule of how students would chant and use those minutes of protest. They believe that, you know, guns are not the place, especially in school. I'm blown away by the fact that they would take it upon themselves to do something like this, and it shows that there's real passion here, and I want to just help them empower their vision. Um, you know, this is a defining moment. Like now, as a precaution, the school telling us additional law enforcement was in the area. Didn't appear to be any sort of uh, conflicts, any sort of issues here. Students are back safely in the building right behind me. We are live in Hammond, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. And finally, our meteorologist Megan Glaros has a look at the forecast. Hey there, everybody. Today, a little bit warmer, still crisp, certainly in the morning hours, but into the afternoon and evening, it'll feel a little bit better out there for us. 45 degrees, the temperature moving into 44 degrees for your Thursday, similar to where we should be this time of the year, average is about 45. We dropped to 40 on Friday, and then for St. Patrick's Day, 45 degrees, up to 52 on Sunday, but guess what? We're dry from now all the way through Sunday. We may have a little bit of moisture early next work week, but for the next several days, sunshine is the name of the game.